Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you a super easy way to create lower thirds for your videos. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to create high quality screen recording tutorials, then I highly suggest you go and get Camtasia. Go to growonyoutube.com forward slash Camtasia now. Camtasia is what I am going to be using for all my future videos when i'm making tutorials and screen records and all that sort of stuff it's really really easy to use way better than using adobe premiere pro because this is actually made for creating tutorials so they've got a bunch of pre-made assets that really really help that and they've got a bunch of tutorials on their website and resources that you can download and i will be making a bunch of tutorials on the software as well so i highly suggest you go grab it go to growonyoutube.com forward slash camtasia yo what's going on i'm jay carter ray from growonyoutube.com teaching you how to be better and as you just seen it may still even be on the screen you just saw a lower third come up that is when my name comes up and my website comes up and you know i usually have these running throughout the video to have different calls to actions for people who may not know about things like my my seo course how to apply for a channel review you know these sorts of things the tools that i use for my business um different videos have different lower thirds on them but I'm going to be showing you how to create some lower thirds really, really easily in this video. So let's go to, um, I'm going to be showing you how to do this in Camtasia, by the way. Camtasia is great for this because they basically have a bunch of templates that you can use. And to do this, we'll just go to our library, which will give us access to all our templates. And we'll go to motion graphics, lower thirds, and then we can just pick whatever we want. Uh, let's pick basic text and we'll bring that to the beginning and then we'll just scroll in and that is a basic text lower third it's exactly what it says we actually don't want basic text because that looks that looks a bit a bit too basic here we go here's here's a nice lower third that will probably suit everyone pretty well in their video you can have your logo here and then your name here so if you don't have a website then this will be great for you personally i do have a website so i've got my name and my website if you don't have a website you don't need that so here we go how do we edit this now very very easily you can just click on this and then you're able to edit the title over here so i can just write j carter ray i can also edit the text that's going to appear in here so I can edit the font I mean so we'll go to Bebas which is my font that I use for all my branding and I generally like to add another space in Bebas but we don't need to write here we can size this up to as big as we want it to be which is as that's as big as it's gonna go <laughs> that is as big as it's going to go it's not gonna go any bigger than that which is fair enough so that's where we can get up to and then we can also upload our own logo we'll just press right click and then go import file and i don't even know if i have my logo on this computer let me quickly check So there we go now we've uploaded our own logo this is the grow on youtube.com logo and we can change the rectangle in the background we can change well we'll leave that as blue that doesn't look too bad we could change the colors of this rectangle we could change it to red and then if we change that to red we should change the text color because this brownish looks crap on red so we do that and here we go now we've got a lower third i guess you can't edit this gray thing <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. But with most of these, you can basically edit everything. But I have no idea what that other rectangle is. Yeah. So here we go. We've got a lower third. We've got it up and running. And we can just put this on our videos in Camtasia. But if you wanted to export this and bring this to another editing software like Adobe Premiere Pro, what I'd suggest to do is to actually create a blank canvas so we'll go to annotations we'll go to annotations we'll make a b 
big annotation with like no text on it. So there we go. We'll get rid of the text. So that it's just it's just white. Although I wouldn't go with white, I'd go with either blue or green. These are things that you want to do, but make sure that if you're going with blue or green, you don't have blue or green in the actual design. So we'd have to get rid of this blue to actually make this work. So we'd get rid of this blue. We'd make it, I don't know, make it yellow. That looks terrible. Oh my God. Just make it white. We'll just make it white. That makes sense. And then we'll change this color to blue. And then we can just bring this into Adobe Premiere Pro. And when we do that, we can use a keying software or keying effect to get rid of the blue and just have the lower thirds. But these lower thirds look best in Camtasia, to be honest, like they look great in Camtasia. When you take them out of Camtasia, they don't look so great. Um, let me see if, no, I don't think you can actually export these and only the lower thirds will come. I think the black background will come as well. Let me quickly test this. So yeah, it brings the black with it, but in Adobe Premiere Pro, now what we can do is we can use a keying software or keying, um, it's not software, keying effect. And we can just use what we've got, color key, let's use color key, put that on there. And we'll use this eyedropper, we'll get rid of the black and we'll do the color tolerance up. I think the black actually looks better than the blue, to be honest. Yeah, I think the black looks way better than the blue. Because what I did, with what I've done with my lower thirds, I, I'll show you right here, here's one of my lower thirds, is I've got the, I think I've got it in blue. Yeah, it's all in blue. So we can turn off this color key. Wow, why does that look? That does not look like blue. Oh, because we've got spill killer on. So we've got this really, really blue. And what this actually does is sometimes you'll have like a a little bit of a blue a blue outline around your lower thirds. But I think a black outline just looks better. So you might as well go with that. But yeah, that is how you get lower thirds on your videos really, really quick lose, using Camtasia. Again, if you use these lower thirds in Camtasia, it's much better. And if you want to do that, I highly suggest you just add this to your library to turn it into a preset and then you can just drag it into any video that you're making. So I hope this video helped you out. If you've got any questions or other tutorials you'd like me to make, please leave those in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next Camtasia tutorial. Peace out. If you want to learn how I got over 23,000 subscribers and millions of views on my YouTube gaming channel, then you are in luck. Sign up to this free course right now. Link will be in the card, in the description and in the pinned comment or go to grownyoutube.com forward slash 20K SEO course. In this course, you will learn the best way to write your video titles, tags, and descriptions to help you rank on the first page of YouTube. It's simple when you know what to do. I'll also show you a hack that will help you choose the right key phrases and help you create videos that can rank and get views no matter what game you play. Stop struggling to grow your YouTube gaming channel and start doing what works. Click on the link in the description or go to grownyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. This course will not be up forever, so get in there as soon as possible. I hope to see you here soon and I wish you the best of luck on your journey of turning your passion into your career. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this love I share with you